Hi everyone, it's April and I am doing my last minute Halloween cards. I have been experimenting with brayering. I'm not sure, I know I'm not any good at it. I'm not sure whether or not I want to get any good at it. So this is my latest Halloween card and I'm going to share with you how I made it. I took a piece of You'll have to excuse the noise in the background I'm printing. I took a piece of five and a quarter by four inch cardstock and I have a circle that is cut from my Creative Memories cutting system and I just guessed at the, the size that I wanted. I'm going to put that circle there and then I have a post-it note that I just kind of tore along the edges so that it would have kind of a jagged edge. And I'm just going to put that here. And then I took Knight of Navy Stampin' Up! ink and my brayer. Just kind of ran it along here. As you can see, I've got some extraneous shapes. I think brayering just takes a lot of practice. So, and this is actually, I used a darker color with my other card. I used Midnight Muse, but that was a little darker than what I wanted. So, Kind of use my brayer to fix my lines. See if I can't get a better cover. And then, as you can see, along my circle, instead of being nice and thick, or I'm sorry, nice and even along the edge, I've got white space. So I'm going to take my sponge. and kind of fill in the white space. And actually, I think this might look kind of cool. Kind of like um, a ring around the moon, maybe. And I'll peel this away. And I'll peel this away. And there I have my moon. And I want to give the moon a little color around the edge because I always think of the moon, it may look white, but there's always a little yellow around the edge of the moon. So I'm going to take my Stampin' Up! Daffodil Delight and my sponge dauber thingy, and then I'm just going to go around the edges. Not real heavy, just a little, just to I give it a little moonshine look. Not the beverage, but the light coming from the moon. And then I have a Hero Arts branch. And I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and ink the branch up nice and wet. And then I'm going to have a branch coming across my moon. Like that. Then I want some grass. So I've got my forest moss. So now I've got my background. Now what I want to do is make it more dimensional. So I'm going to take some green cardstock, try and center it, and I want to get it as low as I can because I'm going to 
use my Martha Stewart scissors and I'm going to trim make my grass more dimensional here. So then I want to take my Vintage Photo Distress Ink and I'm running out of daubers. Get a sponge for my Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to distress the edges so my grass doesn't look like the middle of summer. It looks more like it's fall. And then I'm going to take my Martha Stewart trimmers that make multiple cuts and I'm going to make my grass. And then I'll just ruffle up my grass. It doesn't look quite so perfect. This is Halloween grass. It's kind of messy. So, actually those pieces can be used as twine or twigs on my uh, pumpkin. On the other card I used a pumpkin with sparkles. I'm not going to make this pumpkin sparkly. Vintage photo color. You know me, I believe in inking everything, or if you know me, you know I believe in inking everything makes it pop, gives it a more finished look. Okay, here's my Halloween face. I'm going to ink him up. And I'm going to stamp the pumpkin, the centerpiece of the pumpkin. And I need to assemble my pumpkin. There's the stem piece. Now I want my zig two-way glue pen. I'm going to glue my pumpkin, the two back pieces of my pumpkin together. And then I'm going to put my stem So I have an orange piece that I'm going to use as my card base and that will kind of bring out the pumpkin. And I'm going to ruffle my grass up. I'm going to go ahead and attach this, the back part of the pumpkin to the card. And then I have put foam tape on the back of the face of the jack-o'-lantern. Peel that foam tape off. And then I'm going to put him in the center. And there is my Happy Halloween card. Then I want to take another piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. Just ink around the edges. This is going to be the inside of the card. And I'm going to stamp, uh, I think I want a kitty cat. Stamp a black cat. Can't have Halloween without a black cat. And there you have it. Last minute Halloween card using the Brayer and a Happy Halloween stamp set from Stampin' Up. I hope you're inspired. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.